Today's video is actually two videos in one, or two topics in one. I recently asked in a community poll if you wanted to see a video called No Hanger, No Problem, or Unboxing and Assembly of an E-Bike. No Hanger, No Problem 1, it was close, but that edged out the other, so I want to cover it first. But there's also something else I want to talk about that, in a way, directly relates to that. Therefore, the two videos in one. Let's get started with the part that directly relates to that, and it has to do with this Mongoose Impasse Duel and a correction. Well, actually, not a correction, but something pointed out by some keen-eyed Kev Central viewers when they watched the review on this Impasse Duel. In the review for this bike, I said it has an aluminum frame. And I also said something along the lines of, ooh, this is a no-no when I was talking about back here at the derailleur hanger area. You know if you watch this channel, whenever it's integrated onto a frame like this, I call it a frame doodle, meaning no hanger, just a doodle made onto the frame. An aluminum frame, which is a no-no for me when it's a mountain bike with an aluminum frame. There's a reason that most modern mountain bikes have a derailleur hanger, a replaceable derailleur hanger that the derailleur mounts onto. It's a built-in point of failure. Well, why would you want a point of failure on a bike or really anything else? They're actually built into a lot of components on the bike. Pretty much everywhere that there's a bushing, that's a point of failure. That will fail before the surface that it is connected to fails. A car bumper could also be considered a weak point. You have the bumper so that can be dented or pressed in without ruining the whole car. Well, that's kind of the same thing with this derailleur hanger. It's soft metal and it's made to bend if anything presses on this without actually bending the frame. Though I have had people tell me it's no big deal to have a frame doodle or an integrated hanger built onto a frame. Well, personally, that's not my opinion. I have personal experience that tells me these do bend. Heck, I've had a couple of bikes fall over and slightly bend the hanger where it had to be bent back out. There is even a specific tool built just for that. It's that common. So a replaceable derailleur hanger that's really good, especially on a modern mountain bike. Not good on bikes like this Impasse Duel with the aluminum frame. A really, a double no-no. Or is it? Because it turns out, this is where the keen-eyed viewers comes in, this frame is technically aluminum, but only half of it is aluminum, the front half. The entire rear half of this frame is steel. A magnet will stick to it, so that is definitely steel. And that changes things a bit. While a replaceable hanger, even on a steel frame, is ideal, it's really not such a big deal when I'm dealing with bending and bending back, as small as this movement is, steel hangers. So this is technically okay. Therefore, I will retract my statement about this being an absolute no-no. Now, you may ask yourself, you review bikes, how did you not know that this was steel? Well, because none of the documentation that I read said anything about it. And when I see aluminum literally on the steel part of the frame, I'm going to take their word, or at least I did, take their word that this was an aluminum frame. Usually I do stick a magnet to a bike as I'm looking one over, aluminum frame or not. And I did up on the handlebars and the stem. Those are alloy, by the way, on this bike. And I stuck this to the top tube, and it didn't stick. I did not work all the way down to the back here, or would have discovered it. But I can tell you, fool me once, shame on me. You will not fool me twice, even with the sticker. Because from this point forward, on any big box, full suspension mountain bike, I'll be checking both halves to see if the back half is in fact steel. Really doesn't happen all that much. We did have bikes like the Hyper Explorer that replaced the Hyper Hydroform. And I talked about that bike. I didn't even upgrade it because the back half was steel. But that was noted in its specs. So I knew it was going to be steel right out of the gate. Not hidden behind a sticker that says aluminum. Long story short, this is more okay with me than it was when I made my review. Still with the frame doodle, I mean, that is okay. It will work. I do always prefer the hanger, as I've already said. But, you know, I can accept this. There are other things about this bike that would keep me from upgrading it, that not being one of them with all the other stuff. But still, I like to be honest with you. Always try to give you the best accurate information. 
Sometimes that even means via a correction, so there you go. You now have more information about the Mongoose Impasse Duel with its steel back half, not aluminum. Aluminum only up front. And you learned a little more about no hangers, no problems, and what that video was intended to mean. It's talking about hangers and these integrated hangers. A big no-no with me on an aluminum frame if you don't have a derailleur hanger. Less so on steel, but again, I always prefer this. That failable point that can be easily replaced. And honestly, with that adjustment tool, easily bent back into shape nine times out of 10. Now I want to hear your thoughts on all of this. The fact that this is a steel back half of the frame, does that change your opinion any as far as this integrated or built into the frame derailleur hanger? And I also want to know if you have ever bent a derailleur hanger whether that's out riding in Bennett or received a new bike, you had to slightly tweak it. Comment below with that. Curious to hear about this because there's so many opinions, both pro and pro. Pro hanger, pro integrated derailleur hanger or built into the frame, frame doodle. And if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and informative and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. I look forward to seeing what you have to say. Thanks for watching Kev Central and have a great day.